beautiful. We made it to our campsite, and it's pretty cool, actually. We found a good spot. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another Fat Matt adventure. Tonight, we are camping in the travel trailer. Uh, no connections, no hookups, all dry camping. The temperature is about 75, and tonight's going to be about 40 degrees. So let's go camping. So the boys are right there, hanging out. Say hi, babe. Hi. What do y'all think about this spot? I love it. Pretty awesome. Nice. And it's kind of away from, it's pretty far away from other camp spots, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. We are all having a fun time, and it is beautiful. We are in the LBJ National Grasslands this weekend, and uh, we found this little camp spot that's right off the road here. And it's really cool because it's kind of tucked back in the woods here. It's it's very secluded, hard to see from the road. So let me show you that. We've got the camper sort of parked back here so you can't really see it from the road. But I did park my truck out a little bit so that way if people are driving by, they can see my truck and know that someone's here. But this is a nice little spot. It's got a, a loop that goes around these trees. So it makes it really easy for me to just pull out and turn around. And then there's Ethan, there's Gavin, there's beautiful wife. We saw a really creepy spider. In the middle of this loop that goes around, there's a fire pit. There's a lot of junk in it, cans and stuff like that that wouldn't burn. I left the paper and the plastic in there. We're gonna get rid of that tonight. But I threw the cans away in the camper. It's been a little while since the whole family went camping, so we're excited. And tonight, we're gonna do a uh, delicious beef stew on the, the propane grill in the camper. Code breakers. Mr. Uh, Aspinall, Brian and Steph, sent me a hat, code breakers. You guys gotta check those guys out on YouTube. They're super cool. And anyway, they were doing a beef stew last night on their video yesterday. Made me hungry for beef stew. So we're doing beef stew tonight. Sup, Brian? Sup, Steph? Are you guys uh, excited about going camping? Yeah. Can you say, oh yeah, baby? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you used to say it all the time, silly goose. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I said baby. like a hundred times. You sure did say it like a hundred times. You gonna help me start the campfire tonight? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We should have brought marshmallows. We, f we forgot the marshmallow. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Are you dancing? Got some dance moves. What, how was his legs moving? Can you show me his legs? Yeah, like this. That's how the spider was dancing? No, that's not how you dance. Oh, how do you dance? This is when you do this. You got some dance moves, buddy. So he brought the generator. Predator 4000. Plenty of power to run the camper. Even the microwave. Pretty cool. And uh, Gavin went inside the camper. He freaked out because he saw a bug. There's a lot of little, it's like an area for a tent. There's a little fire pit there, as you can see. So there, there's a tent spot over there. A uh, spot over here you can have a tent. This would be a really perfect camp spot for a group. Colonel Lee, Stan from Ambuling Adventures, Ron C from Ron C's America, Donovan. Come on, man, we're all in Texas. This would be a cool spot for all four of us out here. It really would. There's plenty of room. So, let's do it. What do you say? If you want to do it, say so in the comments. I got a little bit of wood that I had bought a while back. Picked up some sticks from laying around. So we've got a little thingamajig for some fire tonight. And Miss Annie's here with us too. Yeah. Annie's been excited to go camping. She could. She was pulling the leash real hard. Whenever we were trying to get her in the truck, she she knew something was going on. So now she's here, and she's just been relaxing. There's there's a little trail here. It's not much of a hiking trail or anything, but you can sort of see behind the bushes. There is a gravel road that goes right here. And Ethan and I camped one winter night down this road, kind of close to a little oil rig thing. My dad teaches me all kinds of weird stuff. 
And I really like that. We kept it in the back of our pickup truck. So we're probably gonna do that again this next winter. I mean this winter. Uh, NOAA is predicting that winter here in Texas is gonna be pretty mild. Hey, Ethan. So that's gonna make for some, some really great winter camping. Can't wait. Check these little berries out. See if I can get them to focus. They're pretty. Nice purple berries. Look at that. I wonder what kind of plant that is. Beware of the dreaded pokies. You don't want these things to wrap around your leg when you're walking in shorts. Uh uh. See, look. There's some whiskey trash. A trash bag. There's trash all over the place. You guys make sure and pick up after yourselves. I hope, I hope that you do, my friends. You need to leave the places that you go boondocking and camping better than the than when you found them. It's important. Clean up. What are you guys up to? We're taking a picture. Yeah. We're trying to take a picture. Mommy's camera is not the greatest. Well, it's okay. Gavin, are you are you okay? Yeah. The big bug scared him, but he's Smile. okay now. Smile. <laughs> he's like no. Hey Ethan, do you like camping? Oh yeah, baby. Gavin, I love you. I love you too. You're sweet. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Somebody's excited. When you forget your uh, your can opener at home, you can just use a knife. <gasps> Thank goodness, it's sharp enough. Be very careful. But you have to be very careful. Kids, do not do this at home. Okay, that's enough. Now I'm just gonna bend it open. Yep, there you go. Don't cut, don't cut your fingers. All right, so I'm gonna drain the potatoes. Ta-da! So normally we would use like good potatoes, but this, is this a... has to do with for camping yeah. purposes. This right, is a, babe? This is a poor man's oh my gosh. beef stew. <laughs> yes. All right. Pointing the knife at me. <laughs> Next can. Okay, ready? <sighs> Let's drain it first. So these are the potatoes. What brand? Libby's. Libby's. Libby's whole white potatoes. There you go. Instead of chopping up a bunch of potatoes, you're just gonna have to do. Yeah. Gentle, babe, gentle. Okay. <laughs> okay, two cans open. Two cans. So we're making beef stew tonight, guys, and it's gonna be delicious, and I cannot wait to eat it, right, babe? Okay, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Uh, the next thing is, so we're gonna put the beef in this pan, the beef in the pan with some flour. And trash can. All right, next is the beef in the pot. That is a lot of beef. Got a pound. Just don't cook the, the paper. And this is select, <laughs> select Angus beef, stew beef. Oh, there beef. you go, and that's good, that's good beef, right, babe? Yeah. Angus beef is like one of the best. Mm -hmm. And, and it's healthy. We got some flour. I did all the mixing, I mean the measuring at home and put all the stuff in Ziploc bags. So we've got some flour, we've got onions and garlic, we've got all, all the other seasoning. This is beef bouillon, salt, pepper. And then we have carrots and peas and a can of diced tomatoes. Yes. So this is the poor man's beef stew, but it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. So next is, we're gonna put the flour on the beef. <laughs> This will uh, make the beef stew thick. So I'm just gonna use my hands here. I washed them right after I eat. Yeah, I hope you wash your hands. Yeah, I wash my hands. 
So we're just gonna mix all this uh, flour up with the beef. Mm. Get it nice and coated all the way around, all the pieces of beefy, beefy. Angus beef. Select stew meat. All right. So they're coated pretty good. I'm just gonna give them a couple more twists. All right, so the beef is uh, coated in uh, flour. Yeah. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Dry this off. All right, so the next thing is, is I, I, I want to um, sort of saute the onions and garlic in the, in the uh, cooking oil in the pot mm -hmm. first. And then I'm gonna take those out, and then I'm going to sort of cook the meat, and then I'll mix it back together. But I, I don't wanna mix everything together yet. So first things first, let's get this cast iron. It's a coated cast iron Lodge brand uh, Dutch oven. We're gonna get it hot. Oh, my hand. All right, so we're gonna get this hot first. And then we're gonna put some oil in it. <laughs> Where's the oil? It's up here. It is up in the cabinet somewhere. Or in that cabinet. In that cabinet. <laughs> Emma. You sure? Emma. Yes. I thought I put it in there. No, it's on the table. It's on the table. Oh, oh <laughs> found it. Okay. So we'll put a couple of tablespoons in here. Hey, Dad. Yeah, buddy. We're cooking. What happened to the TV? I don't know. Oh no! He, and he's over. watching Aladdin. That's okay. Uh, we'll put the oil here. Yep. The life of Fat Matt adventures and camping. Oh man, with the this, kids. Is, this is gonna be delicious tonight. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the, the burner's beef not stew. going. Nah, man. So, I hope we have enough uh, fuel. Like I said earlier, Brian Aspinall. Uh, the Aspinall is on YouTube made some beef stew last night, yesterday's video. Mm -hmm. and it looks so good, so I just, I was craving it. So yeah. I, I told him I was gonna make it tonight. And he said, hey, film it, buddy. And I was like, all right, then here it is. <laughs> so we gotta let it warm up. Yep. So I'm gonna get paper plate. Mm -hmm. So when I cook the onions and garlic, I can scoop them out, put them in here. Then I can cook the meat. Mm -hmm. And then I can mix it back together. And then throw in the other vegetables and all the seasonings and just let it simmer for like an hour or something. Nice. So it's tender and so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fat mat dance. Fat mat food dance. <laughs> okay, so the oil in the pot is hot. We're gonna simmer up these onions and garlic. See? Mm-hmm, that looks delicious. Ooh, it's strong. Ooh, it smells good. Yum. Woo, mama. Ooh, dada. Ooh, dada. Ooh, dada. <laughs> smells so good. It does. And don't worry, guys. We have the vents open. Yeah. You know, so we can get some good airflow through here. I changed my mind. I'm just going to throw the meat in there, too. Yeah. Get the, it's going to give the meat some more uh, garlicky, oniony flavor. Yeah. Let's throw that. Come check this out, man. Come look at the pot. Garlic, onions, stew meat, and my four-year-old singing tunes over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it smells so good and it looks delicious. Yeah, and there's so much more that's gonna go into this. Mm -hmm. Seasoning, veggies. We're just gonna brown this meat up. I'm gonna put the lid on it for a second. Ah, oh, Fat Matt the chef, baby. Mm, cooking mm -hmm. with Fat Matt. All right, so now I'm gonna heat up some water and uh, throw the beef bouillon in there and get some beef broth going. I got some salt and pepper mixed in there too, so let's do that next. Mm. Here's two. Yeah. 
and Gavin wants number five. Mm -hmm. And this is a mix of beef bouillon, yeah. salt, and pepper. Ooh, that looks good. Yep. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. So that's gonna equate to about uh, four cups of beef broth. With the salt and pepper included, so we don't have to add salt and pepper later. Now we gotta mix it. Yeah. Now that's cold water, it came out of the ice chest, so it's gonna take a while for it to sort of mix together. I figured I'd put that on the stove right now while the meat and the onions are simmering. Speaking of that, let's take a look. I'm just excited to eat this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be cold tonight and beef stew and 40 degree temperature. Yeah, it's gonna be it's yummy. It's gonna just warm the soul, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's hot. See that? Oh, yummy. It's ready to start boiling. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw in the beef broth, all the vegetables, and just let it cook for about an hour or two so that meat gets super tender. So here we go. I'm gonna turn this burner off. I should put those in for a while first. Yeah. So the beef broth, it's about four cups. And then we've got some carrots. There's the carrots, and then we've got potatoes. Oh my God, it's making some messes. Some more potatoes, because we so we like potatoes. Okay. And then the next, ow, oh, that's hot. The next thing, wait. Oh yeah, this one. Diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes make stew really good. Uh-huh, uh -huh. That one had an opener already on it. Yeah. Super helpful. And then the last thing, peas. We are gonna drain these though. Boop. Organic peas. Okay. That's that. Now we're gonna stir it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks yummy. Peas, onions, garlic, potatoes, carrots, beef. It's going to be kind of soupy. Maybe not quite a stew, but, but that's, that's okay. okay. It's still going to like taste soup better. amazing. <laughs> I'm just kind of scraping the bottom off. Okay, now we're going to put the lid on and just wait. Oh, let him win. While the beef stew is cooking, I'm gonna take my dog for a walk. Annie, what are you doing, girl? You having fun? Happy travels, people. Hope you have a good time. Annie. Stay. Annie, sit. Sit. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. What do you smell? Do you smell stuff? Yeah? Okay, let's walk. Let's go. We've tried to get her off her leash to go camping, but she's crazy. She runs off, so we have to keep her on the leash all the time. It's all good though. Oh, okay, she did her business. Now we're gonna walk back to the camper. Check on the beef stew. You might be able to hear the uh, generator from our camp spot, but we're super far away from anyone around here. See that? There's no one around, just airplanes. So it's okay. Our camp spot is down this road and then right behind that gate right there to the left. And then it's back over there. Let's go check on the stew, man. 
I smell it from here. It smells delicious. And here in a bit, we're gonna get some fire going. Hang out by the fire. It's gonna be a perfect night for that. So, we have a crazy four-year-old kid that keeps on hanging on my feet. Uh-oh. And I just warmed up his raviolis. Good, let's look at the and soup. the soup is almost ready. Mmm, it smells really good. Yeah. Okay. So, I cannot wait to eat it because it's gonna be delicious. And stay tuned. What are you guys doing? We're playing games. Connect four? Yeah. Who's gonna win? Me. Um, me. I am. I am. Gavin's gonna win, huh? All right, let's go. Ready, Ethan, why are you putting more than one in there, bro? Oh, so that's what Gavin's gonna do. There you go. Um. That'll let me. <laughs> it's the next six. You have to get all the way to the top of the block. Oh, okay. There's Apparently, they don't know the Everyone. rules I to do. connect four. All right, we turn the fire off. Now we're gonna let it cool and thicken up. What you doing? Oh, I'm reading my book. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What book is it? It is by Jenny Allen. Anything. It's a Christian book? Yep. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, amen, brother. Gotta get the word in. It's really good. All right, cool. Okay, taste test. Okay, here we go. How's it taste? It's so delicious. It's mm. yummy. Ethan, tell me how you like it. Okay. That's a potato. It's kind of hot, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really hot. Hot but good. Hot but good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Little man's eating a ravioli. Raviolis. Chef yeah, Boyardee. Yeah. Okay, taste test. It tastes hot. It's really hot. Mm. It has its real hot. Kind of salty, but still really good. Okay, dinner was amazing. Now we're gonna do a campfire. Yes. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you trying to? What are you? What are you doing? You trying to figure things out? Yeah. All right. We're gonna use napkins and trash. Can you get a bunch of those little tiny, super tiny twigs? Good job. Okay, here goes. And then get those medium sized twigs. The whole thing, use both hands. Put them on top, the small twigs. Sure. <laughs> okay, Ethan. Yeah. Now get the next bigger sticks. The next size sticks. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Campfire is going. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want it in a fire pit. <laughs> You're stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. I just stepped in the weeds. Yeah. Hi, Ethan. Hey, that look. What is that? Whoa. It is the light blues. Look at me, look at me with your sunglasses. You look super cool. Yeah. Gavin's wearing mommy's sunglasses. Hey, look at this. Yeah? Yeah, they're, they're right there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, look. Yeah. You're silly. All right. 
the campfire is almost out. So, after the campfire is out, we're gonna extinguish it and then go to bed. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Nothing like a warm campfire on a cold night. I want to sit on your lap. Aw, you're so nice. Look, there's there's Annie Dog next to the fire. She's getting warm. There's Ethan over here dancing. <laughs> there's my beautiful wife. Chilling like a villain. Sit on your leg and take cheese. Okay, come over here. Come on over here. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Dad, I want to sit on your lap for... For three. hours? Yeah. For two hours? No, like three hours. Three hours. Oh, three hours. Can you say... If I ask you, do you like camping? Yeah. Or can you say, oh yeah, baby? Oh yeah, baby. Do it again. I can't. Say, oh yeah, baby. Dad, look at your eyes. Can you say, oh yeah, baby? Hey, hey Dad, look at your eyes. He's over it. Ooh, yeah. Good same time. Oh, Gordy. Dad, you get that stick on Come on, me. Gavin. Can you do the dance with me? You gotta do the fire dance. Hey, Gavin, do the dance. Dad, do the dance. Get the fire. Do the dance. Dad, get that there. <laughs> the boys are acting crazy. That's what happens at night. Hey, Gavin. Be careful! Okay, bye. Good morning, everybody. I didn't even say good night last night. We just uh, kind of went to bed after we hung out by the campfire for a while and passed out. And it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm taking Annie for a walk. Slept really nice. It didn't get too cold last night. I think it's only like 51. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Annie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you exploring? Yeah. <laughs> you guys can probably hear the generator still going. We had that running all night. We had a little, uh, it's like a fan heater, a fan with a heater built into it. And uh, that's all we needed. We didn't have to use the Mr. Buddy heater or anything and it kept us warm all night long. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. What you doing? About to change. Oh. It's coffee time. Coffee time. Oh, I wonder what's going You having fun, dude? Yeah. Yeah? Did you sleep good? Yep. That's good. Two times. Yep, and you did not like your coffee this morning, did you? No, I loved it. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. I don't know why you guys dumped it. You didn't want it. You said you didn't want it anymore. I never said that. We're gonna go for a little family walk. Let's go. Good morning. Are we gonna go for a walk? There's little man and his PJs. It feels nice out today. Nice day. Gavin's got a piggyback ride going on. Yeah. That's one way to stay warm. Body heat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fire. 
Yeesh. Little flowers? No, little spiders. Oh, little spiders. Where? I saw it. What do you hear? They do attack. What'd you hear? Coyotes. Coyotes. There's coyotes over there, but they're far away. Coyotes don't attack people. Maybe deer. I don't know. Well, that was a nice little hike. But we're going to go back to the trailer because my wife is scared of coyotes. Oh, y'all are funny. Tickly spiders are funny. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's the road. The only time they'll attack a human is if they corner a coyote. What do you think? Mm, if they're in a pack and they're hungry enough, I think they would probably attack anything. You think so? That's wolves. Gavin, what do you think? What do you think about coyotes? I think they can, they can chew rock. <laughs> they can chew rocks? Yeah. Okay. And, and they'll chase you. Yeah. <laughs> Annie's, are, Annie's technically a type of All coyote. I think is, I don't want to chance it. Okay, well, let's go walk on the road. Walk. That's right. It's soft on your when you walk on it, right? Yeah. There's leaves on that side and this side. Yeah. It's fall. Yeah. We don't have a lot of colors in the trees it's yet, but sand. we've got a lot of leaves on the ground. Come on. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We walked all the way around this road and it came over here and the campsite is right over there. Yeah, I think there is an easier way right up here. I'm going to try to find a shortcut back over to the camper over there. Let's go. Gavin didn't want any pokies. <laughs> we made it. Did you have a little good walk, Annie? Yeah? Did you have a good walk? Well, yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Well, guys, we just got back from our walk, and Annie's all happy. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. It was relaxing and it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> so we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.